Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for December 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces for the middle of December 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground even closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Can you please show me energies? that Pisces can expect in the middle of December 2022. We have the Seven of Swords in the upright. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Um, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse in the challenge position. In my playlist are your 2023 Sun Moon Predictions. Uh, go check those out. Uh, 22 Sun Moon Predictions are still there. Um, if you want to see they, if they rang true for you or somebody else, advice, we have the lover's card in the reverse. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the, any of the, what am I trying to say? Links below in support of my efforts. And let's get on your reading. Okay. Um, I guess you're going to be the second one that's going to have a, a romantic reading. I believe this is a romantic connection. I mean, it could be a connection of any sort, anybody that you have a love for. It could be a friend. It could be a family member, um, a colleague even. But I'm strongly seeing that this is a personal personal romantic connection. So general energies, we have the Seven of Swords and the Upright. Uh, this leads me to believe that somebody's coming into your uh, focus <laughs> in the middle of December. Um, and they're approaching you and they they are a thief. So, I mean, pretty much kind of telling me that they're up to their old ways. Um, they're, they're being very deceptive. The thing about the thief is that um, the thief card in the upright uh, is that he works under the shadow of the night. He's very sly. He very, he's very crafty. He's very good at hiding things. So you may not see this. You may be um, really trusting this person or, you know, what have you. But um, behind the scenes, this person definitely has things going on, definitely has ulterior motives. Um, so I would proceed with caution. Um, the challenge is the Ace of Cups in the reverse. I feel as though you're very drawn to this person, but I think the challenge is, why is this blinking? The challenge is that, um, if you associate with this person, you're in for a world of heartache. Uh, this person is going to provide nothing but disappointment. Uh, you could slip into a, uh, deep depression of some sort. It's just really not good news. Um, not only that, I feel as though they're really going to tear down your belief in yourself and things of that nature. Um, but I know that you're very saddened because I know you want to connect with this person and I know you kind of uh, wish for the best for the both of you, I guess is a good way to kind of put that. Um, advice, hello, lover's card in reverse, card of Gemini, and it's a reverse. Um, when the lover's card is a reverse, that's pretty much saying this is doomed. <laughs> um, the lover's card in reverse can be a relationship that's uh, very corrupt. It could be a love based or it could be, uh, I'm sorry, corrupt love um, based on lust, based on um, things for the wrong reasons. Uh, they're telling you it'll be a situation you're going to get into. I'm going to cough really quick. <coughs> sorry, I'm getting over a cold. Um, a situation you kind of hop into um, for the wrong reasons and, uh, you know, then immediately uh, you kind of realize uh, you regret the decision or you kind of say, what was I thinking um, in regards to this? And by then it might even be a little bit too late. Um, you might be, it might be, um, you might be submerged in arguments and dishonesty and all this other stuff. Um, uh, and there's also breakup separation um, looming because of that. So um, they're saying that whatever this person is, is no good for you. They are not the one for you. Uh, moving forward with Ace of Pentacles and Upright. So that's a good indication that you actually do move on from this person. And you're actually focused on finding something that's a more viable, uh, practical working relationship um, and, and having a new beginning in that regard. Whether that person um, exists as you move forward from this reading or whether you're just kind of focused on, you know, envisioning who that person is and then deciding to kind of manifest that. So that's the good news. Um, hopefully that's from this reading. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the upright for Pisces, general energies? Okay, there's something about this person that makes you very happy, so proceed with caution, like I said. Two of you have unfinished business of some sort. We have the world card in reverse, and that kind of means that 
this unfinished business that the two of you have or had uh, is the opportunity for them to kind of come in and present something that is not the case. And I feel as though they're really good at kind of throwing something up because here I see you very happier than telling you, hey, we're going to be happier than our wildest dreams, blah, 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 blah. Um, they, they're telling you things that have you absolutely on top of the world, feeling victorious. Just remember as, as high as they can lift you up, uh, they can definitely crash your spirits down just equally hard. So um, that's what I'm seeing for the middle of December. Uh, why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, and the challenges are saying no matter no matter how you kind of paint this, it's not going to work out. It's not lined up for success. Um, ultimately, you're going to have to make some sort of decision. It's going to be unpleasant. You're not going to want to have to make the decision because you seem very attached to this person. And another challenge is you're very attracted to this person. Um, sexual chemistry, very passionate. This person is very lively, very adventurous and fiery. And this is something you were very drawn to, um, even though you know they're not good for you. So um, obviously you're going to be torn. Uh, in the middle of December. Why is the lover's card here in reverse for Pisces for advice? Who's this person? Yeah, Ace and Pentacles are reverse is saying this is not a, a workable relationship. It's not something that um, is going to have success from a practical level. It's not very grounded. Um, King of Cups in the reverse indicates the other party might be uh, prone to or, or subject to bouts of moodiness, uh, maybe addictions of some sort. Uh, they're really erratic. You don't know what to expect from them on the day to day. And I feel as though their moods affect you and you absorb these moods. Um, you know, it, there's just an uncertainty in regards to what their emotions are going to kind of be. Um, they're also saying if you continue on with this, a lot of conflict going on um, between the two of you, a lot of tension, a lot of uh, arguing, um, you know, Know, comp competing priorities, things like that kind of going on, a lot of conflict. So, I mean, I you know, they're kind of saying, hey, do, do you want that all? Do you want that in your life right now? Or do you want to kind of keep the peace? Um, it's better to be peaceful and single than, you know, uh, be with someone and just have, you know, disaster going on. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in the upright for Pisces as they move forward? Yeah, totally new start. Full card in the upright. You're just kind of saying, I need to move forward from this, um, you know, and, and, kind of take on, uh, you know, other adventures and whatever those adventures are going to be fine. Um, but this is not the adventure for me and I'm going to keep my head up and I'm going to move forward. Other person isn't very happy about that. They, they feel a little slighted that, um, you kind of rejected them. I feel, and you're not giving them the attention that they want. Um, so again, they're getting moody, moody. They might try to manipulate you with their negative emotions, jealousy, things of that uh, nature. Don't placate them. Don't engage. If you give them any kind of attention, that's going to kind of feed their fire. That's what I would say in that regard. But I also see you with the Ace of Wands in the upright. So you two aces in the full card uh, indicating that you're moving forward, very excited about your future, knowing there's something better out there for you, uh, very passionate. Um, there's somebody else out there for you that you can have uh, the same passions, same sexual chemistry uh, um, that you had with this other person, um, they're awaiting you in the future. It's something you should get excited about and it's something that you should, um, you know, kind of look forward to rather than kind of getting caught up with this person. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Uh, otherwise, click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. In in my playlist are your 2023 sun moon predictions. Um, they are completed. Go check out your 2022 sun moon readings. See if they rang true for you or somebody you know. And then check me out on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That is always appreciated. Otherwise, best of luck to you this month. Hope to see you next month. Adios, Pisces.